the other day, this little boy robbed my son for his sneakers. No, no. I'm sorry. You heard what she said? So, what am I thinking? Maybe it could have been a part of that. I don't know. My son is only 14. My son is only 14. Take care, man. And he said his life flashed before his eyes. That's right. But well, we've been made into this situation. Be down. So in order for us to get back, we got to relearn our history and how we supposed to be connected to God. We did it again? And they wondered at her beauty and admired the children of Israel because of her. So they saw by our woman, they admired all of us. That's still important to this day because how we carry ourselves other people see it. So going back to what we talked about with the organization, you could be on a train, you could be on a bus. Sometimes the kids, you'd be like, yo, what the hell's going on? Isaiah 3 and 12. You'd be like, the kids noisy, they, they loud, they have no respect. That rule, you can't tell them nothing, depending on who it is. This generation is way different. In times past, we might be able to talk to them a little bit. Look, young man, you know, it's different. But everything that is a product of what we go through, the Bible talks about it. The Bible gives a solution. The Bible gives us an answer. Let's read about that. Read. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. Yeah. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Why they oppress us? Because God prophesied that. This is Isaiah. This is way back in the time of Babylon. Those are the people that people know today as Ethiopians. Right. So there's a lot of myths perpetuated like we African American. We talked about the Egyptians had us in slavery and not a Babylonian. We're not African. We lived in that land which they renamed Africa because Israel is at the top on the northeast side of what they call Africa now. Was it called that before? But the point is all of these things disrupt our family unit. Read it again. As for my people, who are God's people? We are. Who's we? The real Who are they? The chosen ones. That's why we got the sign here. West Indians, Haitians, Blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. Not everybody on the planet. No. That's, that's why we gotta make a distinction between who that is and who other people are. So we're saying, so right. as for our people, I'm glad she said that because I might forget, or, or that's the next she's going to. Remember, he asked if, if this world is about to end. That's very important. Read. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Who oppresses us? What kind of children? What kind of children cause us to be oppressed, to feel harmed, to be scared? That goes back to what me and him were discussing with gangs. That's in here. Disrespect, that, that's in here. Now watch this. Y'all wasn't here when we went over. Watch this. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, I saw it the other day because you know, demonic. People don't realize what we're going through right now. You know Which people don't realize? I'm just saying, people in like general. Them. Yeah. Our own people don't realize. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And you I'm know, the Israelites do realize what we're going through. Right yeah, of course. Because okay. they already know. Okay. Well, when I say that, I'm talking about us yeah. over here in purple. Yeah. Some of our people, some of the things that we went over, like boyfriends and stuff. She got a boyfriend yet? No, my daughter doesn't have a Where she got to have a boyfriend? She's not allowed to have a boyfriend. My dad said it's so long. Like what? She's supposed to have a boyfriend ever. She's supposed to have a husband. That's so, that's, that's when you say you're spiritual, that's what we got to teach our people. Now watch this. I'm glad you say you're spiritual. Remember what happened earlier. Watch this. So children are oppressors. Now keep reading. As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. Remember that lady, right? What you think about that? I said women rule over his people. What you think about that? That they're not ready to make children how they're supposed to. Be. So uh -huh. it's really, you know what it is? It's just like a mental mind control. They don't really understand. Burden and the pain on your child, you're gonna to want to go out there and get your kids off the street. What about the father? Listen, I can't. I wish I could speak 
on the behalf of a man, but I can't really put myself in a man's shoes to really understand where he's coming from. You get what okay, I'm saying? Because it's hard. Like I said, I'm not judgmental on anyone. Alright. Well watch this. Remember, it says women rule over our people, Marino. And women rule over them. Oh my people, they was leaving, caused thee to earn. So if women rule over our people, and the people that lead us cause us to err or to do wrong, is there something wrong with a woman leading our people? It depends on who is leading them. I don't feel like it's all women, you know. Majority of the time when you have women and men, I think it's a woman and a man's problem right now. Because big issues the black man and the black man. That's what, before you came, that's what we're talking about, the family structure and, being destroyed. And, and, and that's what it is right now. That's what the devil is doing. Right. I know what's wrong. Now you see how she answered versus that? So she got some understanding, right? So what I'm we were, still getting there. Right. I'm glad you said that. What we would add to that is what the scripture says. That's all we're here to do is talk to our people, get their perspective, show you the Bible's perspective. Now she says you can't speak for a man. We talked about men and women together. We got to do it together. together. That's we the only we way need each other. Hurt. Now read that. Well, so Rock, chapter 25, verse 1. Really? In three things I was beautified. And so there's three things that's beautiful. And stood up beautiful before both before God and men. The unity of brethren. Let's come exactly. together. That's, That's beautiful to God. Yeah. Go ahead. This the right. love of neighbors. That's the same thing. I love my neighbor. I'm going to deal with him right. I love my sisters. My neighbor, I'm going to deal with him right. Okay. Okay. Our family. Now watch this. A man and a wife that agree together. Why well, didn't say a man and a wife and not a, a girlfriend or a junk or whatever? <laughs> Right, that's why I asked you that. Equally yoked. And I feel, that's why I told my, I told my daughter, I said, being that I'm not equally yoked, I know it's a struggle for them as well, because me being a single mom, the them, them. Yeah. the fact that they're And then when you're with somebody that's also ignorant and don't know how to, you know, I just, it's, it's really hard to explain. Now we, we understand, because we, a lot of, before you but came, I explained, really I want to do something similar, but go ahead. The other day, this little boy robbed my son for his sneakers. No, no. I'm sorry. You heard what she said? So, what am I thinking? Maybe it could have been oh, a part of that. My son is only 14. I don't know. My son is only 14. My son is only 14. Take care, man. And he said his life flashed before his eyes. And I'm saying, I was trying to tell him, like, you know, just keep your eyes open while you're out. Really in a spiritual warfare, and people don't see the, the darkness that's coming. Right now, we're about to have this eclipse that's coming on the eighth of April. A lot of people don't understand that a lot of demonic energy is going to spread throughout that day. But you know what's important about that? The Bible says good is set against evil. So there's going to be demonic forces, but that's yeah. something that God did. The same thing happened when Christ died. I know everything happened for me. Listen to what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. The same thing happened when Christ died. Uh -huh. It was a solar eclipse. Yeah. When that happens, Passover is starting. Yeah. Christ got killed around the time of the Passover. Oh. These things come around again. So yeah, there's the modern forces. But we have what we need to stick they together to be able to have well, the righteous that. forces. Well, right. Yeah, but a lot of people don't understand the one is Right, right. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. That's why I just said I'm that. I'm not worried about the demonic energy because we hardly face it. You know what I'm saying? And throughout the most, the most high. Okay, give, give me that. Um, with no fear. Isaiah 54, 17. What you just said? That's how we gotta live, but we just gotta be wise. Like, I'm not gonna walk down the street in the hood and I see people flagging and just be like, "Lady, die." No, I'm gonna be wise and be like, "Yo, I gotta move a certain way." But what you said, probably. We also have to have that mentality. Yeah. Isaiah 54, verse 17. Because there's certain so things be yeah. that are demonic forces, but when we're in the right spirit, we don't have to worry about, about them. That. But you were here when we read that God could do what He wants. He could do what He wants. He could still afflict you, even though He's doing what you're doing, just to make you stronger, to give you a trial. Like we went through stuff that now we can help. Other people not going to do the same thing, right? But 
Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. Yeah. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Amen. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt Amen. condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So no weapon that's formed against us will prosper. So that's in perspective. So we don't have to worry about it. But we also have to be wise in this world, like Christ said. We gotta be wise in the circle. And we have to let them know. If we keep our mouth shut, how would they know? They not they not gonna listen. Maybe some people the same thing with us when we try to tell our people some listen, some don't. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Oh, you know what?